Hey guys, it's Shoshi and we are live and it is Monday. Luminous thought it was Friday, but it is Monday. Started some other music already. I think we need to go right into chill. Cause this week is, I'm a, you know, this week is enough, right? We've got a lot to deal with this week. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm gonna say. And we don't know whether it's Friday or Monday, and it's just, it's, that's how it is, right? So we're just gonna, we're gonna chill. And it could be Friday if everyone wishes really hard. Exactly, Jamie T. <laughs> yeah, it's, this is good music though. We're gonna just, all right. By the way, apologize about my hair. It's like, I'm starting to need a haircut and I don't know what to do because my bangs are getting long. Look at this. I cut them myself today, but 
Not enough, apparently. We've got the B from Kingdom Death today. Hi, Mikey B. Yes, I hope everyone as well as well. I hope everyone is also well. Like I said, this is gonna be a very chill stream. I think we all need an escape from the world today. Um, yeah. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna paint. And let's see here. I'm gonna switch overhead. We're gonna put our subscribers just in case anybody happens to re-up. Subscribe. S C R I B. There we go. Yay! I um, had a little technical difficulties earlier. That's why I'm running a little bit late because um, because my audio player VLC VCL VLC. VLC. See, I, I I switch it around, then Mike gets mad at me. Um, Stephanie says I've never been so happy that I cut my own hair and bangs than right now. <laughs> That's good. I bet. Hey, John, how's it going? Um, lost my train of thought. That's kind of what we're, yeah. Hold on a second. Like I said, we're having problems. I want to make sure this playlist works. I, I'm using a different player instead of VLC media player. I'm using my, it's called Groove Music and I don't know how good it is. So we'll see if it starts playing another song here. Is it just going to stop on me? Here. How do I make it just play through the whole list? Pardon me. All right, I guess it's, we're just gonna, we're gonna shuffle all, there we go. There. Is that too loud? Cause like I said, I'm starting this brand new. Let me know if that's too loud. I might turn it down for myself. Or if it's too quiet, let me know if it's too quiet also. Cause either way. There we go. All right, I feel good. We're getting there, we're getting there. Yay. Hi, Gallifier. Panther Favrice says, Panther Vafrice. That's how I say it. It's an important exam, but you drop by to say hello and it, hopefully able to do some progress next week. Yeah, off to do math. All right, have fun with the math. That, I, would, I would really not want to be in your shoes because I am not a math person at all. You got your pro curl in today, yay. Yeah, I knew you would be. Pro curl are awesome. All right, I have, I have to, I just had an allergy attack right before the stream as well. Mm. So I just washed down a um, antihistamine. So let's hope that that works. Here we got the B. We're almost done. We need to paint this wing to look like, we need to paint this wing to look like that wing. So I'm gonna start off with some ivory on my palette. How's everybody's week been? I know, so obviously my mic is working again, so yay. And what else? Um, Cause all I had to do was charge it. <laughs> We're using, uh, this is a Winsor Newton. Ah, I don't want this brush, hold on. I have some new brushes from Game Envy that I'm really liking. These are these series. Beer series is what it's called. This is a number one. You have to take two semesters of college algebra to literally use one formula for your job. Oh, wow! I never took I never took any math in college at all because I lucked out. I'll tell you how I worked that because that's kind of you can't really do that anymore. But back in the day, art majors were not required. Uh oh, look at this. I just noticed this whole thing needs to be brown. Let me switch up. Let me go back to brown. Let's put this brown on the on the palette. Ah, it's too tight. There we go. Ah, yes. Lovely, lovely. So anyway, so when I was in college, we were able to, um, I was did an associates at a community college to start. I didn't go straight to a, um, I did not go straight to a bachelor's degree, which was actually a pretty good idea in that time. At that time, because like I said, I was able to take two sciences instead of a math, and because I was good at science, but math not not at all. I have dyscal dyscalculia, dyscalculia, 
it's like dyslexia, but it's math. And it's, it's a big pain. In fact, algebra itself, I had to take it twice. I took algebra one twice in high school because I guess my parents wanted me to take it again because I got a C in it the first time, which is dumb. I sh they should have just let me take that C. Maybe I got a D. Ah, that's what it was. I got a D and they were like, eh, take it again even though D is passing. <laughs> Maybe it, I don't know why. Into the Meepleverse, hello, welcome. How are you? Thank you for following. It, oh, look at Streamlabs. They, they put a dollar sign instead of the person's name. What? I'm having so many problems with technology today. I don't know what's going on. It's like we rebooted the world and everything is in different folders and the hard drive doesn't know what to do with everything. That's really like what my life is like right now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we're gonna chill, we're gonna try to chill. Hi, you were doing well, I'm good. I'm so good, I'm so glad. <laughs> So right now I'm in the process of putting this brown on the little, there's like wings here. Yes. Into the Meepleverse. How did you come up with that name? That sounds like you like to, you love my work? Thank you, Mr. Pork. I appreciate that. Meeple says, how are you? How long have you been working on this horse? That, um, off and on. Let's see. Does anybody remember when I got him? Hold on. I'll see. I've got a Instagram post of when I first got him. So I, I first got him, so here's my first, the Titan B is here. It was a Wednesday, uh, May 18th. May 18th was when I first got him. So it is July 1st. Oh my gosh, that's right. Guys, we have a follower giveaway today. We need to figure out what to give away to our followers. What should we do? Hmm, we need to think of something. Let me see what I can find. I'll be right back. I will be right back to get your giveaway. Inspired by the intro, the intro into the Spider-Verse when you were drafting up names. Ah, okay. Into the Spider-Verse. I get it, into the Meeple-Verse, into the Spider-Verse. I get it, that's cool. Hi, Teviston. All right, I'm gonna go look for a follower giveaway. Be right back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Aha, I found some things. Let's see, here we go. We've got some Velcro minis. And yeah, here's a cool dwarf. Let's do him. Yeah, let's do him. Let's do a couple things. Hold on, let me get one more. Velcro um, was one of our sponsors, so I guess they still are. And they give us stuff to give away every now and then. Um, yeah, let's do these. This is cute. Oop. Dropping it. All right, follower giveaway here. We've got two minis from Spellcro that I will show you guys. Look at this. So this is a dwarf, dwarf with the two-handed hammer. And so it's really cool because he's got a little sword and a hammer. That he's, so he's holding him. Oh, wait a second. So he's got a fist here. So that means that you can choose which weapon you want to give him. In fact, you could even magnetize it. That's pretty cute. So a dwarf with the two-handed hammer. And then this guy, this is kind of like a squig, and I know you guys have told me what these are called, but I can never remember. Nuglack is the name of this guy, and he looks like a little pig, pig squig. There's a little, let me take this off. But anyway, he's cute. That's really cute. Does anybody remember what those are called? Uh-oh, hurt bag, what'd you do? 
Did you post a link? We don't have any, we're not allowed to post links unless you're a moderator because we just have to be careful about what people are posting. Reminds you of Mayuri Kurotsuki, Kurotsuki, Suchi Bankai from Bleach. Oh yeah, from, from, so this guy, this guy is supposed to remind you of Conrad. This is completely taken off Conrad. Ah yeah, no problem. Yeah, it'll just, it'll just uh, delete your link is what happens. Only the mods can post a link. But yeah, if you go, if you Google Conrad um, Bleach, um, you'll see that this bee is a lot like him. A lot like him. Mm, he's so creepy, isn't he? He, she, we think it's a he. And the reason why is because he doesn't have a stinger. And drone bees don't have a stinger either. I don't know. The mini is wonderful. Thank you. So anyway, this is going to be our follower giveaway. We'll give away both of these to a follower today. So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and start the giveaway. So on the first of every month, we have um, follower giveaways where anybody can enter. And shipping is usually already paid because we've been crowdsourcing shipping. Follow, follow, follow. Yes. And... If you're a subscriber, you get two tickets into this entry. So let me go ahead and start this raffle. Yes. Um, also, how, what was I going to tell you guys? See, I don't remember now. We'll remember in a second. Oh, Ravage won our subscriber giveaway. We do, oh, that was what I was going to tell you. We do subscriber giveaways on the 16th of every month, and I usually give away some creature caster loot. Or something else that's really really cool subscriber giveaways are better than follower giveaways but um, I want to give a chance to everybody because not everybody has the funds thank you for following mr. pork now you can enter hi casual painter hey okay hold on let me start let me complete this and then we'll start the giveaway all right here we go let's see monthly where's my monthly follower giveaway I'm painting mini. Mm. Maybe we should give away a Redgrass Games palette next. I think that's what we're gonna do. For, for our subscriber giveaway this month, I think we'll give away a Redgrass Games wet palette. I think that will be really cool. I know. Um, there's the follower giveaway, I found it. Okay, so I need to edit this. Follower giveaway. One winner will be chosen to win two. Let me change this. I got a new keyboard. All right. Two Spellcrow models. That's what you're going to win. You must be present to win. That's the other thing, is because it's hard for me to track people down. Inky John converted from a Twitch Prime to a sub one tier. Aw, thank you, Inky John. Mad love. Hi, Carlos. Carlos A.F. Garcia. <laughs> I like your name. All right, win two. Two spell crow. Spell crow models. There we go. All right, must be present to win. There we go. Save. I'm going to allow everyone to win. Everyone. There we go. Good, good, good. Advanced. Make sure. Okay. All right. I'm going to start that giveaway. We will go ahead and it says an hour and a half. That's not very long. You might want to change that. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go ahead and leave it. Why not, right? So in an hour and a half, we'll pick a winner for our follower giveaway. And one person will win two models from Spellcrow. And so here's what you do. One winner must will be chosen to win two Spellcrow models. Here they are. It's a dwarf and one of these little squig guys. There he is. Those two. All you have to do is do exclamation point raffle to enter the raffle. And don't forget, you already automatically get two tickets if you're a subscriber. If you are a follower, you get one ticket. But I don't know how the... The, the odds are always really good no matter what because we don't have that many people watching right now. 
Yeah, everybody should enter. Because it doesn't matter where you are, I'll go ahead and send it to you, even if you live out of the country. There will be no cost. And it's a gift too, so I don't need to value it very high. All right, let's go to this part over here. I need to make that a little bit more on the brown side. And like I said, this stream is gonna be chill. It's gonna be fun. Hurtbag says, I pop off when, I, when I'm W-A-F-H and not on kiddo care duty. So neat to watch and learn. Ah, oh, that's awesome. What does W-F-H mean? Somebody tell me. I feel like I should know it, but I don't. Oh good, we got some Japanese metal in the queue right now. That's always good. Work from home. Ah, oh, yes. You pop on when you're when you work from home and not on kiddo care duty. That makes sense. Awesome. My husband was supposed to go back to work today, and that got canceled. Um, we got some good music we're gonna rock out to for a minute. Do you know what they did? Some kind of study, and they showed that listening to metal music and stuff like that can actually make you feel better. And I'm not at all surprised because you get to express express stuff. Yeah. All right. All right, it's looking nice. I like that. I need to get this more brown. You thought you resubbed on Friday, but it only gave you one ticket? Hmm. Um, you will never know. I don't know. Try, it says you have Twitch Prime. Maybe, that's weird. Let me look at the, let me look at the raffle for you. It's possible that you're like in that kind of middle part where you're not quite resubbed yet. I don't know. Metal, a headbanger's journey and a global metal or awesome documentaries about metal. Very cool. All right, I'm trying to fight my allergies here. Wait. There we go. I'm trying to open up to see if you'll never know. Has more than one ticket. All right, giveaways. There we go. Yeah, it only says one ticket. That's weird. I don't know. I don't know how to fix it. Uh, you'll never know. It's kind of like, that is weird. Maybe, so one person ended up switching their Twitch, maybe it's a Twitch Prime thing. I don't even know. Because one, per, uh, one person here just switched from t Twitch Prime to regular. Maybe, I don't know, it shouldn't do that though. It should just give it to you whatever. I just don't know anything, what I could do to fix it. All right. Did I see the, did I see Nixon's third year sub, sub anniversary? Nixton Minis? No, I didn't. That's so cool. I don't get a chance to watch Twitch that much, but how did it go? I'm so excited for him. Or you, if you guys haven't um, seen Nixton Minis, he's a longtime follower of the channel and um, just a really sweet guy. All right, I'm gonna get this brown as well. There we go. He subbed to you for 30, I know, I know, that's amazing. That's how, that's how long I've been able to have subs too. It doesn't feel like that, does it? Does it feel like I've been streaming for three plus years? It's insane. And so much has changed in the Twitch community since, since I started. So many people have like come and gone too. Oh no, he subbed to me. No, I missed it. Wait, 
Probably because I was all looking off stream. Hold on, let me check. Oh, whoa. Okay, we gotta stop for a second. Nix and Minis, thank you so, so much for three years of amazing following me and also for subscribing to me for three years. But if, if you wanna pick out any song in my playlist, let me know. Um, any genre, and I will play any of any of the playlist songs for you. So just let me know what you want to hear. Yay! Thank you so much. I'm gonna write your name down. Hold on. Thank you. I'm glad that you caught that for me. <laughs> well, I was still saying nice things about him anyway. <laughs> Following the channel since October 16th, 2017. Holy cow! That's when I started. That was when I got partnered, I think, right? Something like that. No, following the channel. Oh, Lomunis has been following the channel. That's when I, that is forever. Yeah, right before. Now everybody's checking to see when they, if they started following me. Oh, Christ. <laughs> ah, now my allergies are getting to me. <laughs> okay. Rumble, man. Is it a contest now? Oh no, you guys. <laughs> Rumble has been following forever. Oh, okay. Nixton. There you go. Thank you so much for three years. One, two, three. <laughs> no contest. You've been tier three forever. Yes. <laughs> with the cats <laughs> I love it I need another drink because of my allergies oh boy you know there's something down here that I think I'm allergic to might be the dust in the gecko tank my oh it's the crickets I bet I'm allergic to the crickets because it's only when I come down here <laughs> okay you want me to get out of gecko Okay, Mr. Pork, we will do that. We have about 34 people watching right now. Right around the time that we do the giveaway, I'll get out of Gecko. How's that? <laughs> you were too poor. That's okay. Anybody, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Let's go back here. Yeah. debating on whether I want to put the brown on this side or not. I think I should. Yeah, I will. Hi, Kathy. Are you doing well? Hopefully you're not. Hopefully everything is good over where you are. Now you live in the big, in deep, like right in the city too. And apologies for my sniffly nose. <laughs> okay, see how pretty that's starting to look? That, I love that, that glaze of brown over that gold. It really looks good. It looks We're all good, all quiet. Yay, good. I know, I'm the sniffy one. <laughs> it's not, it's Shoshi, it's sniffy. It's sniffy, sniffies. It's, you can call me Sniffy's Magnificent Miniatures. <laughs> okay. This little lantern keeps getting bumped. I'm not happy about that. Uh, yeah, Sneaky, we're just talking about how I think that I might be allergic to my gecko's crickets. Because I was like, what is down here that I could be allergic to? And that's, it doesn't bother me as much upstairs. Okay. I need to let that dry a little bit. Maybe we'll work on the hands. The little handsy feetsies things. 
We're very close to getting this guy done. Very, very close. What else do we need to do? We need to do maybe another highlight on the bumps. What do you think? Yeah. What do you think, Kathy? Do you think you would put, like, make this, these bumps a little bit more yellow, maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Ah, stay there. Let's get out some yellows. Oh, that's a different, that's not the kind of yellow I was looking for. I think I need to use my Chimera yellow. Hi, Gridlock sis. How are you? We got a whole bunch of different kinds of paints. There we go. Ooh, yeah. This is what I got my paint on my palette here. I got ivory brown. This is like a it's bird sienna. Um, this one is a Hansa yellow, Naples yellow. Sorry, Naples yellow. And this is more of a golden, golden yellow. What's it called? Warm yellow. That's what it's called. You might give them a little bit more contrast with the surrounding skin, Chitin. Yeah, I think so. You think you're allergic to my geckos crickets also? It's just coming through the coming through the airwaves. Maharoon, thank you so much for the raid. Hi guys, hi everybody from Maha, and welcome to my channel. And hello Maharoon. What were you working on? We're having a follower raffle right now. So if you guys want to enter, do exclamation point raffle. Subscribers get two tickets. Followers get one. You gotta be following. You doing great? Hope you're well. So creepy bee. Yes, it is a creepy bee. Hold on, let's let's show off the creepy bee. Yes. It's meant to be creepy because it's from a a um what you call it? Horror game, Kingdom Death. Yeah, you must be here at the time of the drawing. You can't just if you if you're if you enter and you're not here, you will not win. And I'll show you what we're gonna give away. We're giving away these two models from Spellcrow. We've got this cool. Hold on, let me take this out of the package so you can see this without any. You're working on the Flower Witch. Perfect. Yay. So, uh oh, can I get this open? I might have to open this here. Let's do it like this. There we go. Okay. This is the model. This is the dwarf model from Kingdom Death. He looks pretty cool. He has a choice of weapons, either a two-handled hammer or a sword. And he looks kind of like an old school. Oh, look at that. He's cool as heck. He's like an old school Warhammer mini. Make sure it's in focus. And then there's also this guy. This is our other giveaway. Right here. He kind of looks like a little squig, but he's like a little pig. Pig squig. He's cute. So this is getting given away to one of my followers today. Let's look at Spellcrow real quick here. Let's see what else they have. Umbra. Okay, so it says looking for a classic fan fantasy game. You're in a good place. So yeah, they have all, if you go to spellcrow.com, they have all kinds of very cool fantasy characters. They have like train bits. They have lots of bits, conversion bits. Lots of conversion bits. Um, I believe we did when we went right before the Noise Marines came out with for GW. Spellcrow was doing them also, and so uh, Triptic, the group I was involved, I am involved in, did a whole little thing with the Noise Marines. All right, there's the squig, squig guy. You'd have to be. Wait, 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 what am I missing? Laser beak. Hi, Genuine. How are you doing? You'd have to be another deception, of course. Oh, wait. 
I was talking about Luminous. That's what I was confused about. Rumble says, the dwarf is very reminiscent of an old Warhammer Quest dwarf from 1995. Nice pose with the Clint's fish like that. Yeah, that's true. Doing grand, a little tired. Well, good, grand is good. We want people to do, we want people to be grand. <laughs> I have a, I'm having allergies today, and so that's my, I'm, I'm grand, but with allergies. Yeah, you're doing, doing grand, okay, yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try to add a little, a little bit of this golden yellow to this other color here and see if I can't. This is very transparent. I don't know if this is going to work at all. All right, let's try seeing what happens here. To the chitin. Ooh, what do you think of that? Ooh, I kind of like that. Let's just work with it and see what happens. We'll use it on the bigger, bigger pieces. Kind of like it, kind of dig it. What do you think of that, Kathy? I just like Kathy's color advice. Maha's good at color too. So tell me what you think of that. Here's one of the new songs that we just got for the channel. As you can see up above, right here in this bar, we crowdsource money to buy music just like this for the channel. And the last uh, batch of music that we got is probably the best I've ever bought. And so any uh, donations that right now that we get this month will be going toward music to be buying more music from that same guy. So. Okay, I kind of liked that a lot. It's a little chalky, but maybe we can glaze it, glaze it back. Max Cool, hey, what camera do you use for your painting? I use a, I use what everybody uses. It's called a Logitech C920 HD 1080p. In fact, I wanna say just about everybody uses that. I mean, you can look it up. Wow, your paint job on the B is looking fab. Thank you, Baron of Van, Baron, blah, blah. Baron Von Uppercase. I can't talk. My nose is too stuffed up. Baron Von Uppercase. There you go. Baron. <laughs> you have two 922s, but you couldn't get it looking very good for the painting. Yeah, I, I will admit to you, Max, that I stink at tech and I wouldn't have any of this at all if it weren't for my awesome husband. So, you know, and I also, that's a big reason why I don't really, I don't really answer tech questions that much on my channel, just cause I literally don't know anything about it. And you don't want to take tech lessons from me. You don't. I will, I will end up confusing you so bad. Okay, I like that better. Look at that, that little bit of orange. It's better than the yellow. It's gonna glaze it nice. Ooh, I really like that. You're gonna keep messing with the lighting. I do use some kind of, what do I use? I use Streamlabs OBS. It's just really hard, like I said. Yeah, I have no idea. Ravage says, I want some Muni Aeronautica planes. I don't know what that is. You got too much backlog. I understand. <laughs> I understand that pain. Backlog. Thanks for the advice on your salamander. Max says, yeah, I have it mounted on my overhead light at the moment. It doesn't seem to work well. Yeah, we have a, um, this is, this is mounted on top of a, um, sorry about that. It's mounted on top of a, 
mic boom kind of thing, like, like a guitar mic holder. Have a good day, Mikey B. But yeah, ask me about painting questions. I can tell you anything. I, I am really a dunce when it comes to tech. And like I said, um, I've told people this before. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be streaming at all if it weren't for my husband. He said, why don't you do Twitch? And I was like, uh, why don't, if you set it up, I'll do it. But I don't want to do it otherwise. Cause I don't, I don't know how. That's why I don't, that's why I don't edit my videos. I don't, um, on YouTube, all my videos are just my total Twitch streams. It's just cause I, I don't want to learn to get better at editing. That's not what I want to do with my time. There you go. Okay. I like that a lot better. I think I'm going to add a little bit of this yellow still just a little bit. Maybe glaze it back. What do you think? Do you guys like it with that little bit of contrast? Or do you think it looks better with this kind of brown? I don't know. I like, I like this, I think. Hmm. Let's see what it looks like on this side. The face on the bee is scary. You think it's the blood tears? Actually, that's not a tear. Do you know what that is? See if you can see it. It's a little demon that is hanging out of his eye. That's his arm and this is his head. And he actually has a little face and he's kind of leaning. He's actually leaning on one arm. Hold on, let me see if I can paint that red so you can see that a little bit better. Hi, Karu. Thank you for watching. Scary bee. I know that's why I'm asking what you use, not how. You set up. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> All right, let's try this with the brighter red. So you can see. Could that face be any uglier? It could be. It could be. All right, check this out. So this is the guy's little arm that he's leaning on. And this is his other arm right here. And then he's got like a little, little devil face, like right here. He's, he's creepy for sure. Creepy bee. There we go. Oh, this keeps getting rubbed off. Why? Yeeky, gross. Okay. Let's do a little bit more highlighting of this right there. Ooh, that looks cool now. Graph. There we go. Ooh, creepy. All right, let's go back over here to this side. And make these little bumps again. You like the contrast, but it would be good to see it from the sweet spot angle. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do that. So you'll be able to get a better picture of it. So what I'll do 
I'll glaze those yellow dots back a little bit with the brown after I put them on with the yellow. yellow to this. Oh yeah, there we go. That is good. I like that. Yes. I don't know. It changes it, doesn't it? Hmm. Not much of a miniatures person, but you watch, you enjoy watching people who do them. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, that's the thing is you don't have to be a miniatures person yourself to enjoy watching others create. And you can, if you if you like some kinds of other things, sometimes some of this stuff will translate to it. Yeah, ooh, I kind of like, yeah, I do like that. What do you think? Yeah, I think it needs, kind of looks like it's little pieces of pollen on it, doesn't it? Yeah, that's what it reminds me of, little pieces of pollen on his legs. So I wish I had a better brush because I feel like I need it. Actually, where's my Windsor Newton? I need a brush that is actually kind of blunt. Is that my Windsor Newton? That might work actually because it's not as pointy. There we go. I'm able to make a more circular dot with the brush that doesn't have a point. Tell me, uh, Tafalara, what, what is Maya the Bee? I don't remember. You remember Maya the Bee? It doesn't, I don't know, I don't know what that's from. <laughs> Kathy says, I like that dots repeat a little color of the yellow stripes. I agree. I think it, it's cool. It's a children's cartoon. Okay. What country? Is it the US? Okay, there we go. All right, now let's do more. That, that contrast looks really neat. Hi, Day Ray, how are you? Yay, thank you for the follow. FX Bron Branco. Maya the Bee is probably from Japan, but seen in many countries. Okay, I'll have to look that one up. That sounds really cute. Probably why I haven't heard of it though. See what happens when I glaze back before I get too far. 
see what happens when I glaze back with a little bit of this burgundy. Maybe not. Let's see. Ooh. I don't know. No? Well, actually, yes. I think. Let's just do it and see what happens. You can always come back with the yellow on top, right? Yeah, I like that. It's not as intense, and I think that I liked it like that. I feel like I need to work on these little faces on his knees a lot. Shall we do that? It's funny because this bee is like so detailed. You can get really bogged down in details and lose, lose yourself in them. But also you want it to look really nice too. So it's like, ah, oh, it's a catch 22. I'm gonna use this dark peach to start out with. Yeah. And mix it with a little bit of this brown to start. You still remember the opening song and finish? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, let's make that look like it's a whole face coming out of his arm. So do you see what I did where I glazed it? I mixed that with a little bit of the brown. Sure, let's do I love this song. So nice. Sometimes when I'm painting, I need to be able to just lose myself in it. And it's a little bit harder to do that when I'm streaming. Does that make sense? So sometimes I might get a little quiet. That's good, That's that usually means I, I'm searching out the mini, trying to pull this together. Kind of I kind of dig that. Such a weird thing, isn't it, with this bee on top of the knee bee's knees. Ha ha ha. That's probably none of you guys made that joke. All right, let's use a little bit of ivory and mix it with our peachy color. Let's see if I can get that to be a little bit lighter. I kind of like that. Yeah. 
Yes, okay, that's kind of cool. Now, right now, the, the knees are starting to have more contrast than the bee's face. Hi, all right, backside, how's it going? It must be hard to interact with chat, et cetera, when in the zone. It is, and sometimes it's funny because they'll notice, they're like, oh, she's gone. They'll say stuff about it in chat, it's really funny. Hmm, I think I'm gonna add some of that yellow brown to this, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, there we go. It's tying it together, the chitin. I'm gonna just add a little bit of red here and there. Do brown right here. Oh, that's cool. tiny red googly eyes in the knees a little bit Ooh, that's creepy as hell isn't it with the red oh my gosh creepy now I feel like it needs more dark colors let's get some purples out and see what happens Let's do, that's dark blue. I don't want that, I want purple. Dark purple, there we go. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I love this song so much. This is probably my favorite of all the songs. You're gonna miss the ravel, gotta switch out with your wife. Okay, well if she's, oh, so she can work, okay, yeah. Well, at least have fun, I hope. <laughs> I'm buzzing with excitement. We might get to see a beautiful finished bee tonight, very possibly. I need to probably step up my game if we're gonna see a finished bee, aren't we? Let's go finish the wings. Perfect, perfect music for it. It's chill. good. I love the thunder in the song. John says, are we having whips tonight? Yes, let's do whips because we missed them on Friday. So let's do this here. Whips today. Okay, since we missed them on Friday. Exclamation point whip trips if you wanna be able to get in the gallery, if you've not used that before. Good, good, yeah. There we go. Show and tell or get CNC on your latest creative endeavor. 
post your photos in the hashtag live image gallery of the Discord today. And there's the link in the chat right there. There we go. I'm glad you reminded me. Thank you, Inky John. Yeah, well, sure, we'll do it Friday as well. You better work hard so you have stuff for both days. Ha ha. <laughs> You're not ready to, for more show. <laughs> well, then save it for one of the other days then. Otherwise, go ahead and show today. It's okay. Either one. You can show it twice. I don't mind. The more the merrier, right? So what I did on this is in within the sculpt, there is some little cells or whatever for the wings and I'm kind of trying to pick those out. And where there isn't any, I'm kind of making my, my own up because I want it to look like it's a transparent wing. Wait, there we go. It's kind of working that some of these little spaces are darker or lighter than others. There's an artist, her name is, um, what is her name? Karolina Gorska, I think her, Karolina, Karolina? She's, I think she's Polish. She's such an amazing painter. You can find her on Instagram. I don't know how to say it in, in English. Anyway, she would rock the house on this because she loves this kind of thing where you've got all these little volumes and stuff she would paint this really really well that's why i'm kind of trying to follow her lead a little bit okay some of this is supposed to be a different color. There we go. Go back down here. See, I can glaze over. Now I need my yellows. There we go. Give me a second, my eye just got all pitchy from my bangs. All right, so I'm gonna glaze this with this yellow right now. So that it kind of settles in, if that makes sense. And then we're gonna come back over it again. A little bit of this peach. Ah. Okay. 
Bear with me. It's one of those where I want to get the... There we go. You want to take a color class with her early in the year? Yes. Yeah, she's just, I think she'd be really cool to take a class from, I agree. Seeing this, I already know you will have nightmares. Oh no, <laughs> that's funny. Just, just remember, it's just a dream. Let's do some of this peachy on the toes. I don't know if I can make this work. Yeah, that's okay. Some of the colors that I'm trying to use are a little too transparent. I don't know. Should I leave the hands that color? I don't like it. Let's try, I'm gonna try a little purple and see if that changes anything. Maybe. Let's do a little bit of brown mixed in. There we go, that's a little bit better. Kind of interesting looking like that. I like that little tinge of purple on the hand, on the foot, B foot. He just wants to be a bee hole. <laughs> that's funny. Kara says, uh, went together the male and the pain in your hip returned. Oh no, that stinks. Take it easy though, okay? Maybe take some ibuprofen. Yeah, I don't know about that. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with it. Why not? There's a Cat hair stuck, there we go. Purple and brown are really pretty and it's, yeah, I think that it needs that as like almost like a weight because his feet are so small. Uh oh, I'm getting water everywhere now. Yeah, that purple works for me. I feel like it needs to be almost like a more reddish purple too. Let's try, let's try this purple. Urgh. Sometimes you just have an instinct and you're just like, I wanna do it. And you just have to do it, right? It's kind of like an urge, a, a creative urge. Oh no, I hate it when I do that. There's all this paint up in the Give me one second while I try to clear this out. Got a little bit too much paint. 
Yeah, ice. That's a good idea, Luminous. <gasps> See, and it's already gooping out. Dang it. Okay. I don't think that's gonna work. It's the threads on the on the metal. There we go. Got it finally. No, I didn't. <laughs> And then you're trying not to, how did the base for the B arrive? It, it, it arrived, it's just a flat base. It's, and I haven't customized it at all. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I could go upstairs and grab it if you think, I mean, it's just a, it's just a flat base. I'm, I think I wanna paint this black. Let's see what happens. That's dark neutral gray, there's cool black. Let's see what happens when we paint the toothpick, toothpick black. We can always take it out later. Right? So should we get out of gecko now? It's probably a good time to get out of gecko. Let's do it. Don't forget to enter the raffle if you haven't already. All followers can enter. Just do exclamation point raffle. If you're a subscriber, you get two tickets. All right, Peppercorn is in the log. Where's Biscuit? She's probably, oh, there she is. Ginger Biscuit is, I can get her out. She feels like a little baby. She's all warm. She's been digging. There's a Biscuit. She does not like the bright, the brightness. like what's that bee over there I don't want that <laughs> it's gecko time yay look how she looks her skin is really soft I know she's so cute <laughs> that's why we have gecko emotes you cutie. She is pink. She's um, she's what they call amelanistic because she doesn't have a lot of skin um, coloring. Here I'm going to show her again. Normally they're kind of brown, so she's like a basically like an albino, but she doesn't have the dark the um, she doesn't have albino eyes, but she is sensitive to light. Yeah, she's a good girl. Look at her squish tail. Squish, 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 squish. They're so, she's so sweet. All right, I'm gonna put her back. She was napping. They, they're technically, they're not nocturnal, but they do um, like to sleep. They go down there. They like to sleep during the day and be out. Um, let's see, when? in the crepuscular so that means like in the evening and in the in the morning they like to come out there we go all right we're getting there we're getting there oh there's water let's do this other wing because i feel like we'll feel a sense of accomplishment once that's done <laughs> yes Right there. Oh, I need to thin that a little bit. That reminds me, Lamunas, I need to message you and get everything set up for the other models I'm supposed to paint for you. I have still to do that. I've been a bit distracted. I'm gonna be starting up some new commissions today um, that I'm really excited about painting. I'm gonna be doing them to the same level 
as you've seen me do other stuff at like busts and things. Okay. All right, remember this side? We didn't, did we get that side? can't remember which side we did <laughs> this okay so that that wing was done this was the one I wanted to go back over a little bit so that's what we did on the outside of the other other one is we kind of went in here oh oh shoot I'm really not sure what to do about this lantern it keeps bending on me my train of thought here we go so don't forget to do exclamation point whip trips we're going to be doing whip trips today to see what people have been working on make sure that you put your images in the gallery so we can take a look um, this is on the Discord where you need to put the pictures and I'll be pulling them up and we'll show them off on the live stream. And you can get any, you can just show and tell. You can get criticism and critique. You can get um, tips and tricks, anything you want. If you want the, the crit, critique and criticism or whatever CNC, you need to make sure to me mention that you'd like me to give it to you because I tend to, to err toward the fact that maybe you just want to show and tell. That's what I tend to do. If I see something glaring, I might mention it, but otherwise I'm probably just gonna not tell you what to do on your piece, unless you ask. All right, that, that looks good. We got this piece, we gotta do that glaze again. Oh, and maybe a little bit more here. I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow to that. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. 
That doesn't look the same. Oh no. <laughs> Do we just have like, we had a new follower. Hold on a second. I'm going to check. VFX lifeguard. Welcome. Thank you so much for the follow. There you go. Whip trip. Just one. Yeah, just one. I'm going to add some of this purple to the bee, bee hands. Just on the, let's see what happens. There's something about black or purpley hands that is creepy as hell. And so that's why I wanted to do this, this color. Yep, and that worked. That's creepy. Makes me want to put purple in other spots. Not always sure why I want to do stuff, so sometimes I just go with it and see what happens. And I'm digging it. like that. That um, bright looks really good with that yellow. That bright purple, purpley reddish purple. tricky look at this this music's got me going now this is one of the new songs does. I like that. Yes, keep us safe as we swim in our year tears of inadequacy. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment, lifeguard. Appreciate that. I like color, obviously. I like to delight my eyes, even if it's a horror, horror figure. I like really dark, saturated color.
I do like that. Yay. All right, I'm gonna, whoa, lost my brush. Let's use this brush instead. I'm gonna take a little bit of this purple and I'm gonna see what happens when I glaze it on some spots. With this brush, it's big and soft, and so I can kind of blend quickly with it. It's really cool. All right, I do like that. Let's add a little bit more to him. Just a little bit. Ah, too much. Too much, too much. I do like that a lot. That changed it all, didn't it? and not in a bad way either. I needed that little bit of purple, didn't it? Rawr. He looks more alive. I think we had too much gray before, maybe for my taste. Oh boy, it's starting to look pretty at least. Pretty scary. Okay. Putting some purple on the black antenna. Good. We got these feet done. I don't think I finished these feet with this purple. Okay. So another artists received their B today or yesterday. It's one of the Japanese artists that's on the Kingdom Death form. You can also find their Instagram and I definitely think you should check them out. They've been really painting a lot of neat Kingdom Death stuff. Now I kind of want to take the, take this out, take the, ooh, I need to fix that landing bad. Let's do this. purple on top of the black. Yes, that looks so much better than just straight black. All right, let me look at chat. Cat stretch, is it time to stretch? It probably should be. You said, yeah, you said too much purple, but in reality it was just the right amount, yeah. <laughs> it was. Okay. Aw, Ash Kathleen, thank you so much for the, for the subscription. Don't forget to enter the raffle. Here we go, Ash. Yay! Ash Kedellin. There we go. Thank you so much. 
14 months. That's awesome. It's like you're so sick. Good job, shows you keep it up. Thank you. You've only just started playing yourself. Luckily, a friend at work loves to DM and teach newbies. Oh, good. Hello. I like that kind of purple feet. It's creepy, isn't it? All right, let's paint the stick back. Maybe it's kind of, I can kind of tune it out, but maybe it'll help you guys see what I'm saying. When the stick becomes black, you'll be able to kind of, we'll be able to decide whether we want to keep it on or pull it out because we might not want it. See, now when I put him on his base, he'll be flying, but he'll be, he'll be on top of this, the stick and it, it's black. So it kind of fades into the distance, right? I don't know. I kind of want to take it out. I'm not sure. And I'm almost done. I'm almost done. All right, let's add a little bit of this to the edges of the wings. A little bit of transparent. I'm gonna let that dry and see what happens. I mean, I gotta take the stick out. Let's see what I can do. Hold on. Hello, Zen for one. Did you get the um, Did you get the package I sent yet? Or maybe I can't remember. Yeah, maybe I sent. Can't remember if it went overseas or not. What color is that? This is burnt sienna. That is what color it is. It's not an ink. It's very transparent though. Um. I need a pair of pliers. Let me see if this will work. Maybe. I'm gonna try this. I don't know if this will work or not. Maybe not. Oh, there's my pliers. All right, that's bad. It's not gonna work. I glued it in too well. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut it out with the X-Acto blade. There. <laughs> now we have to paint back over it. Conceivable. All right. I'm going to go and I'm going to go get my base and I will be right back. And when we come back, we're going to do our raffle. And you remember, you got to be present to win.
and then we'll see what happens. We might need to, I'm not gonna be able to glue it to the base because the base isn't even painted yet, but at least we can start painting it. I'll be right back. Hi, winner, I'm so glad you're here, yay. All right, I'll be right back. Let's see, put this on. Go ahead and while I'm gone, I want you to put your um, stuff in the whip trip gallery, okay? <laughs> All right, I got the base. This is the base they sent. Doesn't have anything special on it. I thought we could look at it. Let's see here. All right, we need to do this first. Hmm. Glue. We'll just do super glue. It'll be faster. Dropping stuff. Lumunus lives on Twitch. Well, you know, there's not a lot of people, not a lot people can do right now um, with everything that's going on. There's not a lot of places you can go. I'd rather Lumunus be on Twitch than out in the in the open with all the COVID virus. You know. All of you, that goes for all of you. All right, that looks good. Okay, what do you think? Oh, he's cool. I don't know, you can't see his little belly at all, can you? Oh, he's gonna be kick ass. We have to make this black. Let me put some gloves on. We'll airbrush this black real quick. Where's my brush? Here we go. Stanil Res. You can see I use that a lot. Um, I don't have my airbrush plugged in. That would help. There we go. Plugged in. There we go. Turn it on. Let's put some gloves on. Grotesque, but fantastic. Thank you, I like that idea, I like that. Uh-oh, I hope uh, Caro's, um, yeah, we kinda, yeah, I apologize, I shouldn't have brought it up. Um, we we kind of blacklisted that early on in the channel and I didn't get a chance to un-blacklist it. So let me see if I can change it. Cause I think it's okay to talk about. Now we just pretty much, did it in the beginning because we wanted this channel to be a little bit of an escape. Yeah, we'll do, I'll, I'll undo it another time. I'm sorry about that. You're okay though. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, we got our airbrush. Push that back in there. Always put a little thinner into thinner or water or something to lubricate the cups so that way you're not blowing primer through a dry airbrush. Let me go put my mask on too while I'm at it. Bear with me. I'm gonna take that off. You're doing good. All right.
All right, mask is on because we don't want any particles in our lungs because that is bad. There we go. Okay, I'm going to blow some of this through first. <laughs> there we go. That is probably way more than enough primer. Okay, I'm going to put this over here. Oh, bear right or left, I'm not sure what you mean. There we go. Did we, uh, did they finish the... Did anybody know if we got the finished part of the um, raffle yet? Oh, <laughs> Darth Vader, yes. Oh, bear with me, right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I always say that. It's so funny. I probably didn't, don't need to say it, do I? So funny. <laughs> okay, so it's, I don't know if that would take too long. Sometimes you can dry with your airbrush like this. It takes a while though. I'm going to put my um, mute button on. I'm going to hair dry this real quick and it'll be a lot faster. So give me one second. I'll mute my lav mic. All right, I got it unmuted, and now I can start doing the back. There we go. Check that out. Clog. Hold on. There we go. Sometimes you just gotta blow it through. Hi, uh, Strange. How are you? Okay. You have so many busts for the post waiting to return to normal. Yes. <laughs> Try it again. Gonna mute again. Give me a second. I wish I had a button I could just press mute. Oh, Lady B, I'm sorry. You probably said the uh, the blacklisted word that I know I haven't changed it. I'm sorry. I need to change it. We'll we'll fix it next time.
Uh, I'm going to see if I can fix this right now. This is the second time this has happened today, and I don't mean to censor people. We just originally, when we first started the whole lockdown ordeal, I just wanted to not have us talk about it. Now I think it's, a, you know, we're at that point where it doesn't matter, right? Let me see if I can take out these words. Give me a second here. I can find out how I did it in the first place. Which, that's the, that's the hard part. Modules. No. Commands. No. Mm. Mod tools. There we go. Word protection. Let's see. I don't. Oh, it's in the other bot. It's in the other bot. I'm sorry. Okay, we'll reset the settings on that one. Okay. And then let me see if I can go to my other bot real quick. Give me one second. Moderation. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna delete this one. This one. This one. Alright, we're good. They're unblacklisted and you can talk about it. I'm just gonna ask that we limit it, right? So that we're not talking about it all the time and people don't get fatigued by it, right? That should be good. I think we're all set. Okay, good. We are free to talk. <laughs> I appreciate why you did it. Talking about that was stressful. Yeah, right. It was stressful at the time, but I don't know about now. We'll see. All right, I'm gonna just real quick blast the edge. The edge of this. There we go. That looks really good. Done. All right, there's still a lot of primer left in here, so I'm gonna. I usually put this back in the bottle because I'm. I don't like to waste. <laughs> Time to call Mike. No, I got it. Yeah, he's not that. Let's be honest. He's not that much help when I'm. I mean, he is, but. He does not like to help me. The raffle is closed. Okay, give me one second. I have to clean this out first, otherwise we'll be in trouble. I don't wanna have a plugged airbrush. So let me clean this out. Okay. <laughs> Got my little dude here. Once I get this all cleaned up, we can start the raffle. We can we can find out who won. I know you guys are chomping at the bit. The geckos are good. We already got one out today. We got out ginger biscuit. And she was being cute. <laughs> they were trying to nap. Yeah, they usually are. <laughs> They're usually always trying to nap during my streams. <laughs> okay, so that's still got a lot of, that's still pretty filthy. Hmm. Try to run this through some more. Let's put a big amount there. Come on, there we go. Alright. This should be clean. Hopefully. Alright, it looks clean to me. Last thing. Ah, oh, thank you, Yamamushi. Welcome and thank you for following. I hope I said your name right. 
The irony would be if you won again. I know how many times have you won, Lady B? <laughs> All right. The amount of stuff you've won lately is un untrue. Oh, <laughs> yes. Okay, hold on a second. I'm gonna take off my mask. And now we're gonna pick our winner for our raffle because it is time. Okay, let's take a look. Look at these marks on my face from the mask. So funny. All right, bum, 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 bum. Raffle, here we go. You only, you only won once in that creature caster. Oh yeah, that's so cool. All right, let's see. Giveaways, there we go. All right, we're gonna pick the winner. Is everybody ready? Sneaky, tiny, small. Oh my gosh. I, I, you won two, is she here? Gotta be present to win. Gotta be present to win. Let's see if she says anything in chat. If she's not here. It'll be somebody else. Sneaky. Say something in chat. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if she's here. All right, we'll give it a minute. She's not. All right, we're going to pick somebody else. All right, another winner. Karu, one of our new followers. That is awesome. All right, Karu, are you here? Say something in chat. Yeah, that is awesome. Oh, wow. Thank you, Yamamuchi, for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Mad love. <laughs> is Karu here? Karu is here, yay. Karu, if you don't have Facebook or Instagram, message me on Twitch. Tell me your info so I can send these to you. And uh, we will, I'll send these out probably tomorrow for you. Yeah, send me a message. If you, I prefer it if you do it through Facebook. My Facebook page is at Shoshi's Minis on Facebook. You can do Shoshi's Minis slash, sorry, facebook.com slash Shoshi's Minis or you can do uh, instagram.com slash Shoshi's Minis. Both of those you can find me or Twitter. Yay! <laughs> nice. All right, let's do some whip trips. It is time. All right, so I'm gonna write that down that Karu, I'm gonna, hold on a second. Sneaky's gonna be kicking herself, but it is late there, so that's probably why. Karu. W S underscore nine. All right, that will go for you. There's the web trip link. It's time to get your stuff into the web trips. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and take a peek. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up the Discord. There it is. Okay, in Triptych, yeah, in Triptych Discord, we've got a section called Live Image Gallery, and that's where you put all of your stuff, the pictures that you want to show off. It does not have to be a miniature. It can be like a Gundam. It can be your pet, which I'm totally down with. It can be, um, what else? Your The pie you baked or the stitchery that you've done, you know, pretty much any creative endeavor that you've been working on. I need to make sure to see. Okay, so I'm gonna start with Friday since I think that's, maybe we could do Friday's stuff. Yeah, we'll do Friday's stuff on top. So what was Friday? Today's the first. Friday was the 29th. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put up everything that from the 29th and today that was on. Is that all right? So we got Fred Dino. Hold on, I'm gonna open this. Just 
Just give me a minute. You got a lot of pictures, Rick. Whew. Okay, we're gonna look at them all though. This is from Frick Dino. He's been working on this diorama for a while. You have dupes? Okay, I just won't put up your dupes if I see them. Don't worry. It will be just what you, just one set. Okay. Where's my whip trip? There we go. All right, take a look at this. This is Frick Dino's diorama. It's some, um, I guess, Tyranids and some different kinds of monsters leaping up out of a, like a, de a dead building and attacking this guy right here looks good he's got a lot of pictures so we're gonna go through them all it's a space wolf and he's killed one of them for sure he's gonna have to kill a lot of them because there is a lot coming for him do you think that a space wolf would be able to take care of all these tyranid odds are bad this is beautiful all this brickwork he did all of this by hand this is all hand, um, hand put in each little brick. And here's the side there. How many, how many monsters have you killed? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 things are coming for him. And that's maybe 18, because there's some more back in the back. This, he might not make it. Oh, cool. I like that. That's pretty cool. Look at that. <laughs> oh yeah, there's way more than 17. There's a couple more back here. Probably 20. And then this is his original kind of plan that he used, and I think it's really good to do this kind of thing, is to map out how everything's gonna look and place everything before you start building all the base. Because it really does help with the composition, doesn't it? I like it. Good job, Frick. Let me see what real quick what he had to say about that. put up your dupes <laughs> yeah you're, you're eager to try something newish yeah yeah we've got some cute models coming your way now okay Frick said in the beginning it was a long way to go from the first idea to the final result I always liked all the helpful comments and criticism I re received from all you guys thank you all to help me on my way from my cardboard sketch to this result of my Warhammer 40k diorama as a reminder, I've also posted the first sketch. That's what we showed at the very end. Very happy with the results. I hope you also like it. I think you did a great job. Good job. All right, so now I'm gonna look to see. We've got Rubbish Booty here. Hold on. I need to go close down all those other tabs real quick. Too many tabs makes my computer groan. All right, here, open. Open link, yes. Nice purple rubbish. I really like that. Is this a link? Oh, okay. Nice. I like that. I will just use that instead of opening up every single little. Rumble, holy cow. Oh. You guys will have to see this. Uh, it's called Double Fruity's Jammy Wagon Wheel Slice. You're gonna have to see this. Okay, I'm gonna open up. Pun expected. Oh wow, pun expected. That looks cool. We got some really cool stuff coming, guys. You're gonna be excited. Okay, let's look. First of all, we've got Rubbish Booty. Sorry, all right, backside. He is not rubbish. Your 20 pound kitty is being exceedingly cuddly. Oh, cool. 
<laughs> my, my daughter had a very round kitty, but they got her to lose a little weight, so she's not as round. All right, so let's see. Ravish says, finish the sister squad and started the emoliator tank. Cool, look at this. Okay, so this is his, his emoliator tank. Beautiful purples. Looks like you've used a little bit of airbrush on the purples. Beautiful. And you're starting on that gold. I'm really liking that. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. It's so funny because it looks so much bigger than it actually is. When you see it with the scale next to the bottles, you're like, oh, that's little. So that's really neat. Emoliator tank. Yeah, let's see how small that is. <laughs> that's great. I want to work, makes me want to work on, oh, look at this. This is that slice. Anyway, makes me want to work on my Eldar, just seeing you work on this. And this beautiful purple is gorgeous. And those are the bottom of somebody's legs I can see in the middle. All right, so look at this. This is called, so this is, this is from uh, Rumble and his wife, her screen name is Double Fruity. And this is called a Jammy Wagon Wheel Slice. I want a recipe for this. If you could send it to me, Rumble, because I think I could make this gluten-free because it's a slice, and that wouldn't be too hard to make that crust with a gluten-free. That looks so yummy. I love to bake. I'm getting, my mouth is watering looking at it. Oh, whoa. Beautiful. Okay, so this one is by Pun Expected. He says it's a work in progress on Limbo Miniatures Lilith model. The dragon's part is mostly done. The lady is, lady part is getting there. Whoops, look at this dragon. That is intense, that is awesome. I love it. She's, it's gonna look really cool. Now, can I give you one little critique? I like how you've got the green in her bust, in her bustier here, and you've got it in the, you've got that same color in the, snake if you can this is just my little critique you don't have to take this advice somehow try to add some kind of purples into the snake somewhere because right now sh there's none there is the teal so that fits the teal is in sort of like in this green right here but there's no purple and so that she's gonna really i mean maybe you want that so you know Maybe you want it to complete this, but I feel like it would be integrated just a little bit if maybe you had a few purple shadows down toward the bottom somehow or something. Does that make sense? Or at least around where she's sitting because maybe the skin would kind of have a little purple shadow right around where she was sitting. That's just my little, little advice. Yeah, it is looking awesome. He's not round, he's an active mouse or just big. Woo, that's a big kitty, Caro. That's awesome. All right, let's look on, this one is by Rumble. It's the Green Knight Armor Kit for Kingdom Death, which we all know I'm a big fan of Kingdom Death. Look at this, beautiful, beautiful. I don't have the green, that's the one armor set I don't have, because to be honest, oh, sorry about the young. To be honest, I will not probably ever get and play every freaking, you have to, in order to get this green armor set, you have to play and win a lot of boss fights to get this armor set. So I just, I'm not gonna, we're not gonna. There's certain boss fights that Mike hates. And so <laughs> that's a big part of it. All right, now we're gonna go ahead. Hold on one second. There we go. We're gonna close down these ones and we're going to open up some more okay let's open up some more bill robertson beautiful oh my gosh love it thunderdome drew you good okay very good drax is this wait let me look drax yep drax posted this on Friday. I feel so bad my mic died for, on you guys on Friday. Um, 
I didn't charge it. That's totally my fault. I love these. We're gonna look at these pictures from Drax. I don't think he's actually here, but I think he would appreciate that we showed off his pictures anyway. He, you can also follow Drax on Twitch. Okay, let's look at let's look at Bill Robertson. First of all, did the Phoenix Dancer? I believe it's the Phoenix Dancer from Kingdom Death. Let me check. He goes, honestly, this has got me down. I feel like they've ruined the face and many other parts. The paint is just rough. Okay, let's take a look. Hold on. Sometimes that happens, and you just have to kind of see what you can do with it, right? Okay, let's take a look. We have to make make tracks. All right, see you later. R uh, rubbish, or all right, backside. Um. I don't think it looks as bad as you think it does, Bill. In fact, I, the base is really nice. What I would do if I were you is think about adding some light in that same texture pattern, if you can, from the base onto her chest maybe a little bit. There's so much you can do to camouflage the, the roughness. I don't think it's as bad as you say. But I see what you mean. Sometimes, I mean, paint gets too thick and it gets it gets rough. On her face, um, oh, my only thing is maybe try to see if you can't paint in her eyes a little bit because I just see dark shadows as, as her eye sockets and that's it. But you might, you might need a, I don't know. If I if it, if this were mine, I would still keep trying to paint it, even though you feel like you've, if you feel like you've quote unquote ruined it, then really there's nothing to lose at this point because if you've already, like I said, quote unquote ruined it, you can't ruin it more, right? So just, just keep painting on it and see if you, because sometimes maybe this is the ugly stage where you get to it, get it, push it to a point where you get it to be better. Sometimes you push it to a point and it's just the same as it is, right? But you don't know until you push yourself through that. But like I said, it's every piece is a piece for practice anyway. If you think about it like that, this piece is, is just one more practice piece to get better to the next one. This piece also, I'm pretty sure, is um, really easy to get through the store. And so it's not like you can't buy another one and, and do another one. There, it's not, it doesn't look like it's limited. Um, and if you did happen to use a limited one, like I said, they still have these in the store, I'm pretty sure. But, but yeah, don't be too hard on yourself. I don't think it looks, I don't think it looks too bad. Let's see if my EDM chill tracks are playing. It doesn't look like it is. There we go. Okay, let's see. I hope that advice helps some. Tell me what you think. You might not even be here because that could be from before. All right, let's go to, okay, so this one is from Thunderdome Drew, and I feel like this is from Lucas Pina. This is from Spear Mirabellis, is that true? Let's look at it, wait, oops. Yeah, I think this is from Sphere Mirabellis. It looks like it. Yeah, because he's got all little animals all over him, and Lucas loves that. Whoops. It, the, the photos are a little bit hard to read, but I think you're going in a great direction with it. It's looking good. And this uh, creature in the back, this creature caster lady in the back is looking really good as well. All right, so this is Drax. I'm just gonna clip through his stuff since he's not actually here. And we can kind of look at what he's working on. It's very nice. Some monsters, I'm thinking these are from Warhammer. That looks good. All right. Let me close those down, we've got some more. We have a little bit extra than we normally do because I'm doing Monday and Friday. And I think we're just now getting into the Monday stuff, right? Maybe. Yep, today, oh my gosh, Rumble's 
wife made muffins. We're gonna look at this. And then it looks like rubbish got, got the dupes. We won't post those. Um, Inky John has a space ring. I'm gonna open that. Very nice, Inky John. I like the colors infused. Good job. Sydney. So cool, okay. Day Ray with your beautiful colors. Oh, I love it. Okay. Zen for one. Whoa, that's beautiful. Okay, wow, Zen for one. I love it. Okay, so that's it. All right, good. Let's take a look and see what everybody posted. This is the blue, this is the muffins. I can't remember what, did you say they were blueberry? Let's take a look at this. Rumble, these look fantastic. Oh, hold on a second. I'm gonna go back up and see what you said they were. Rhubarb, rhubarb crumble muffins made by my wife is what he says. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh my goodness. That's such a pretty photo too. You're just sharing double fruities whips you haven't got anything that's fine i you can post all of those um bakery goods anytime you want that's awesome this is from inky john very nice inky john i feel like i saw you start one of these before and it, he looks so much better than it did the last time i saw you post them looks awesome Good, good. Now this one is Sydney. What is this from, Sydney? What is this from? Um, what what model, what model are these? Kind of reminds me of Troll Bloods, but they're not Troll Bloods. From similar though, it's real similar. Uh, this is Day Rays. She's gonna be working on a project, and this is this is the before this is before she starts the project and all of the schemes of of thread oh this I just in love with this is from then for one he says not sure if I posted this in here be previously but my finished diorama for a building challenge let's look at this oh gosh this is the kingdom death what character is this is this the um, what character is this from I feel like I know, but now I'm like blinking it. Is it the girl from the, um, oh, I don't remember now. Who? Now you have to tell me. Oktoberfest Aya, yes. It's smaller, yes. That's what I thought. Yeah, she's gorgeous. I like Aya. That's a, that's a beautiful lighting work, beautiful colors, beautiful palette. Really nice on the basing. You told the whole story very efficiently. Whoa, that's so cool. There's a, is there the Puri seal right there? I love it. <laughs> that's a gorgeous, I love it. How did it do in the building challenge? Did anybody, did anybody, did you win it? <laughs> All right, let's go back. Hold on. She has a bolter instead of a beer mug. Nice, I love it. That's awesome. You kind of did a little bit of a crossover, didn't you? That's cool. All right, guys, it is about that time because I've, I've finished my bee. Let's take a look. Let's go ahead and go back to the bee real quick. We're not quite done here switch all right here's I accidentally spilled primer into my palette so I guess there we go let's see what this looks like what do you think I'm kind of lazy I'm really lazy I kind of want to all my other all my other models are just on the base and so I think I'm just gonna glue the bee down. I really am. I need to finish that. I need to finish this um, 
what do you call it? The lantern. All right, this is glasses off. Mm. It doesn't want to paint. I don't know why. Oh yeah, that's looking good. I like that. Now turn around. Okay. Get a little bit more of this purple back in here. few spots where I feel like I need to fix the black here. piece over here because it does go all the way around. This is the hard part. I should have waited and painted this. If I were you and you were painting the bee, I would wait and paint this lantern off completely um, sub-assembled if I were you. I would not try to paint it all together. All right, let's see if we can make a little bit of a... There we go. Beautiful bee. Oh, I didn't do this part. Hold on. Err. See, now I've got black in everything. That looks good to me. All right, what do you guys think? I would, I'm gonna call it, I think. I'm probably gonna finish the legs, maybe the little dots, but I don't think it's like worth streaming that because you kind of know we've already seen what I've done on that. But I'll, I'll finish him and put post pictures. I'm pretty, pretty happy with the bee guys. Look at that. I do think I might 
we'll see, we'll see. I think it's gonna look pretty good in a photograph. Like that, maybe that's the sweet spot right there. Somebody take a screenshot right there, boom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, let's look for somebody. You'd like to see me put something on the base. I do, I want to, but I don't, none of my other game pieces have it. Like, unless they came with it, so. That's because I'm lazy. <laughs> if it were a commission on the other hand and somebody was paying me to do it, I might think about it. It's not a commission though. It's, it's, it's a gift from Kingdom Death. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's go see who else is streaming real quick. Bear with me. It looks like we haven't toasted Studio J or, T or Key Lime. Let's so let's do Studio J. We haven't we haven't rated him in a, a minute. Create a dashboard. There we go. Hopefully it's not too late for him. If we want to, if you guys want, I think we should rate Key Lime. He's only got 20 people watching it. Also, he's going to be on a little bit longer than us, so. What do you think, Key Lime or Studio J? Or Nalindi, but we did Nalindi on Friday, so. Thanks, Gallifier. Okay, let me stop this. What do you guys think? All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and start it. Mocha or Keppa? I haven't rated them before. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and do Key Lime. Whoa. <laughs> I just bumped up the volume a little bit. There we go. There we go. All right, guys, punch that raid button. Let's go see Key Lime, and we will be back on Wednesday. And I don't know what I'm gonna be painting on Wednesday, but it'll be something cool. All right, guys, you take care. Bye-bye.